God is my shepherd, he gives me all I need. Thank you for food, shelter, and water. Thank you for education and learning. Thank you for love, family, and friends. wonderful places to rest and sleep. Thank you for my warm home. Thank you for my bed and my pillows. Thank you for peace and quiet. He lets me splash and play in cool, clear waters. Thank you for the clean water I drink. Thank you for nature and for the seasons. Thank you for all the chances I have to have fun. He helps me do what is right. Thank you for helping me be nice to everyone. Help me to do kind things and good deeds. Help me to follow in your footsteps. I am not afraid even in the darkest nights because you are with me, God, and your protection comforts me. Thank you for security and safety. Thank you for the light that guides me. Thank you for the love that comforts me. When danger comes, you give me strength. Help me to be brave. Thank you for giving me courage. Help me to stay strong in difficult times. My life is filled with your love, and all I want is to be with you my whole life long. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for always showing love, even when it seems like there is none. Thank you for my life. Please join me today for our candle lighting. As we light our candle today, let's take a moment to think about what Psalm 23 is telling us. For me, Psalm 23 reminds me that I can't do everything by myself. I need help. Think about times when someone has helped you. When an adult has helped you carry something that was too heavy for you, or when a friend has helped you pick up something that you've dropped, or when a stranger has helped you find a lost pet. Those are all examples of what the writer in Psalm 23 is saying about God. When people help us or who are kind to us, that's God's love happening in the world. So as we light today's candle, let's think about all the people who have helped us or been kind to us. Then 
Let's also think about when we have helped or been kind to others and imagine that we too are being God by doing things for other people and showing them love. Now we'll light our candle. And amen. Today's story is the parable of the Good Shepherd. Look, it is the color gold. Something inside must be precious, like gold. Perhaps there is a parable inside. Parables are even more precious than gold. So maybe there is one inside. This box is also closed. There is a lid. Sometimes, even when we are ready, we can't enter a parable. Parables are like that. Sometimes they like to stay closed. This box is like a gift. Parables were given to you so long ago as presents. Even if you didn't know what a parable is, a parable is yours already. You don't have to take them or buy them or get them in any way. They already belong to you. You need to be ready to get to find out what is in the parable today. It is easy to break parables. What is hard to do is to go inside. I have an idea. Let's look inside and see what's there. Yes, it looks like we have everything we need. I wonder what this could be. Hmm. It's green. Like, kind of like a big jelly bean. I wonder if this could be one of those things that frog sits on in ponds. Oh yeah, like a lily pad. I wonder if it could be the top of a tree. I wonder what's on the other side. Hmm. See, there's always another side. Hmm. Ah, I wonder what this could be. Looks like a swimming pool. Hmm, maybe a window or a mirror. Mm. I wonder what these could be. They are so deep and dark that there's no light in them at all. It's kind of like holding a shadow in your hands. There is no light. Two eyes and a nose, but there's no smile. Hmm. Sometimes people could come over here and wonder, I think. I think it would be a dark place. Hmm. Next in our box. I wonder what this is. Maybe it's like a path. Hmm, a flat log or a stick and like a pencil. Hmm, look, here's another one. Oh, maybe this is the path. 
Or it could be like, if I had one more, like football goalposts. Hmm. There's lots more. Oh, it's getting stronger. It could be a house, you're right. What else could it be? A number sign? <laughs> a log cabin? Everything in this parable is flat. Could be a house, a place for animals, maybe, or people. I wonder who lives there. Oh, let's close that. Look, it's a place for sheep. <laughs> I wonder how many sheep there really are. This many? This many? Or maybe there are many more. There was once someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people followed him. They couldn't help it. They wanted to know who he was, so they asked him. Once they asked him, he said, I am the good shepherd. I know each one of my sheep by name, and they know the sound of my voice. So when I call them from the sheepfold, they follow me. I walk in front of the sheep. And show them the way. I show them the way to green pastures and I show them the way to cool still waters And there are places of danger. I show them the way through. I count each sheep as they go back inside.
And if one of the sheep is missing, I would go anywhere to find them. In the grass, by the water, calling the sheep by name, even in places of danger. And when the lost sheep is found, I would put it on my back, and even if it is heavy, and even if I am tired, I carry it back safely to the sheepfold. When all the sheep are safely inside, I am so happy that I can't be happy just for myself. So I invite all of my friends to a great feast. Hmm. I wonder if these sheep have names. I wonder if the sheep are happy inside of this place. I wonder where this place could really be. I wonder if you have ever had the cool, fresh, clear water touch you. I wonder if you've ever had to go through a place of danger. I wonder where this whole place could really be. Here is the Good Shepherd. Look, here are the sheep. the water. The dangerous places. The sheepfold. in the grass. A parable for you. Hello and welcome to Craft Time. I have exciting news for you today. Today's craft is edible. Yes, you can eat it. So our craft supplies today are pretty simple. You will need big marshmallow, some little marshmallows, and some pretzels or toothpicks. Because we are going to make marshmallow sheep. Yes, marshmallow sheep, because you remember, we're looking at Psalm 23, and Psalm 23 is all about a shepherd, uh, and looking at God as a shepherd, and shepherds take care of sheep. So we're making marshmallow sheep today. Why don't you go grab your supplies, and I will meet you at the craft table. Hello and welcome to the craft table. So like I said, our craft today is super exciting because we get to eat it afterwards. We're going to make marshmallow sheep. There's my test sheep, but we'll build one now as well. And so for this, like I said, you'll need marshmallows, either big and some small marshmallows, and pretzels or toothpicks. Now I like using pretzels because you can eat pretzels after, whereas toothpicks you can't eat. (laughs) So you'll have to watch out for them after. So we take our big marshmallow 
And we're gonna start by putting on his little feet, or her little feet, depending on if your sheep is a boy or a girl. And we'll pop those down. So we have our four little feet. We put the toothpicks or pretzels into it, and then we're just gonna pop those in. Now it's a good idea to hold the bottom so that the pretzel or toothpick doesn't poke out of the bottom of the little marshmallow. So when you put them in, just make sure you support that. And we got our four little feet going in. And this is a very quick craft. I mean, you can make these super fast. So you could make a whole herd of marshmallow sheep if you wanted, if you're allowed to have that much sugar, because there's a lot of sugar in marshmallows, but boy, do they taste good. And so I'm gonna put his little head on. We know it's the head, because it's kind of sticking up. There we go, it's hard to support that one. And then we'll put his little tail in. And the tail, we know it's different than the head because it's sticking out rather than up. And there it is. There is our marshmallow sheep. And we have two marshmallow sheeps. So enjoy this craft. It's a lot of fun and you get to eat it. If you have some food coloring at home, you can decorate your sheep with some food coloring, but make sure you put a plastic sheet down so that you don't make uh, too much of a mess with that. Enjoy your craft. Thanks for hanging out at the craft table. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh